Hello, this is Wes Hickey, Chair of the Department of Educational Leadership at the University of Texas at Tyler. And in this Weekly Five, I want to talk about a news article I saw recently, which is that fewer schools are currently ranking their students. And one of the things is, in Texas, we've always had a tradition of making sure that we rank from valedictorian on down to uh, lower levels right there. But there have been concerns over time that this is not actually a good thing for students. And at this point, the National Association of Secondary School Principals says about half of schools no longer report class rank. Now, in Texas, we have a couple requirements there. Texas Education Code does require the identification of the highest ranking graduate, and the reason being there are scholarships involved with that. And we also have to make sure that we identify the top 10% of our students for admission issues in college as well. But here are the things. I tend to be kind of a competitor, so I tend to like the competition thing. But in the traditional way, promotes competition. You have individuals comparing themselves to others and really fighting to try to get higher GPAs. But in a non-ranking system, it's supposed to promote collaboration. Uh, and what they want to do is they want to recognize anyone who hits a certain threshold, recognizing that a lot of times grades are not uh, as indicative of what is being learned as we oftentimes think, that they're oftentimes going to be arbitrary. And the difference between a few hundredths of a percent, especially in a big school, may have people rank much, much lower when they basically learn the same thing. So they're trying to move away from the competition in order to kind of indicate, are, are you mastering the content and getting what you need to do? Now I want to know, what do you think? Uh, YouTube allows you to be able to make comments underneath there, and so I'd like to ask you to take a few minutes. Let me know where you fit on this. I'm still trying to work it out in my mind. Uh, I can see the benefits on both ends, but I want to know a little bit more information. And at UT Tyler, let us know what we can do. And remember to inspire and educate the architects of human potential.